Chloroquine is an old medication. It's an anti-malarial. It's been used all over the world, and we have a lot of data on its use. And in particular for SARS, we have studies actually from Hong Kong back in 2008 where they actually looked at it and showed that it actually can prevent the virus from entering into the cell and also prevent it from replicating. So how would that work for coronavirus? Would it act the same way? Have they tested it on humans? So they have actually tested hydroxychloroquine, which is a cousin of chloroquine, an anti-malarial, and it's shown four times the effectiveness. Now this is in vitro. That means that it is in a tube, it's not in a person. Okay. But from that, they've, they've extrapolated what the potential dosage could be. It would be a five-day course with a load and then four more days, and it has great potential. Do they have access to that here in the United States right now? So chloroquine uh, is not something that's always available in your regular pharmacy. They have to order it. And then hydroxychloroquine uh, is also the same. It's not, it's used, I mean, we don't have malaria here, so we don't normally think to use it maybe infectious disease. So pharmacies will struggle to have it readily available. But now that we are seeing this, there's definitely an emphasis, especially here in DC, with all the pharmacists that we're working with to get it out.